feels like yesterday when you walked into just the thing. I have zero doubts that God had that day planned for us since we were born. I thought the day that you said yes to marry me was the best day of my life, but nothing compares to the overwhelming joy, love, and happy butterflies I'm feeling today. You are meant to do life together, and you are to stand by one another. You are to help each other. That is the mission of marriage. You don't need a master's degree or hours of counseling. You need to remember what the scriptures teach. You are to be a helper, a companion, a gift to one another. Growing up, she always believed that she was gonna marry a Southern gentleman. And then Ryan came into the picture in 2015. Ryan, I'm gonna start with you by saying, if you hook Liz Black, you have really done something. I will be true to you and I will protect you and keep you safe. My love won't be perfect, but I will strive every day to be as perfect for you as you are for me. We have Santa Claus. We have Cocky. We've got a retired paramedic from Los Angeles, an investment banker from New York, and we've got the mayor of Manning, South Carolina. Those are just a few of the more than 400 people here who come with their own special story and why are you are here to celebrate with us tonight. I love you and I'm praying for you now that you would have a long and happy marriage full of laughter and full of forgiveness that you and Ryan would glorify God by the way that you love and serve one another. I know when the doors open and I see your sweet smile, I'll be calm. I've never been more certain about anything in my entire life. I know that with God at the center of our marriage, we'll make it to the World Series every year for the rest of our lives. I love you, it's game time. It is indeed my privilege and pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Ryan James Fisher. On June 29th, 1994, my beautiful girl came into this world, Elizabeth Nell Blackett, and then tonight, when you've got this guy, you are incredibly thoughtful, and Stephanie and I are so blessed that you are in our family, and I love you both. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. Lord, graciously, with his favor, look upon you, and so fill you with all spiritual benediction and love, that you may so live together in this life, that in the world to come, you may have life everlasting. You are one of the most thoughtful people, and that you put her first, always, and in your marriage, that you always put God first. Um, any of your problems, sorrows, lift it up to him. He will take care of you. And you can't go wrong with him centered in your marriage. I love you to death. And I just want to say that I'm probably the best man out of all of you. Go Cox. <laughs> 